Hello everyone, welcome to PTE Reading and Writing, Filling the Blanks, Real Exam Questions Reads by Marvel PTE, where we discuss the real exam questions which are your PTE academic exam students ko aai hue hain. and then we discuss the reading tips, strategies and hacks so that you can also easily crack them. This is 27th video in this series. It means that we have already covered 26 questions. So you can get the link of the playlist in the description and you can watch the previous reading and writing blanks. So first things first, that now PT is accepted in UK. So if you want to study in UK, you can achieve your goal through PT and 90% of Canadian universities accept PT academic is now valid for spouse visas. In UK, if you are going for family visa or spouse visa, you can get it through PT home also. My name is Bharat Bridge and I have scored a perfect 90 in all the 10 skills of PT and now we discuss the reading hacks, strategies and tips along with listening, speaking and writing strategies also so that you can achieve your target score in first attempt because we at Marvel PT believe no benefit is not you just waste your money on the exam, you waste your money, you waste your time, you waste your demotivation but if you know the right strategies you can easily crack your PT reading in first attempt. So do not forget to subscribe to our channel because we post such informative videos on a regular basis. By now most of students know that PT reading is, has an integrated timer which runs for 32 to 41 minutes depending upon how many questions are coming. It has five question types and the first one is reading and writing filling the blanks and this is the real PT scoring. You can see the reading ka module head that just contributes 47 marks but usme se 22 marks are contributed by reading and writing filling the blanks and they also contribute marks to your writing. So 22 marks to writing, 22 marks to reading. That's why they are very very important. Chahe aapka target score 58 plus ho, 65 plus ho ya 79 plus ho. That's why you have to make sure that you have the time to devote to reading and writing blanks to solve karne ke liye. and maximum time which you can spend is 3 minutes. 3 minutes you don't have to spend nahi karne hai. Ab usme kya students ek mistake karte hai that they read all the words wo matlab samajna shuru ho jate hai, and then they lose track of the time. You do not or you cannot understand the meaning of things in just 3 minutes. Then what's the solution? You have to do skimming. And we teach the steaming techniques to our students in detail, whether they are online students or institute students, because skimming is very important. So this is today's plan. As usual, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to go through this and then we are going to discuss it. Okay, now you know what we do first thing is, first thing we do is skimming. Skimming karte hain hum apne blank ki to understand the gist, ki matlab idea, central theme, core idea kya hai, to understand the tenses, past tense hai, present tense hai, ya future tense hai. Along with that, we understand its tone, positive tone hai, negative hai, neutral hai, ya academic tone hai. So let's get started with the skimming part. The iron bridge. Now we don't iron bridge, nahi kehna. that is part of our pronunciation rules and we have a dedicated pronunciation course for students because pronunciation is very important in PT. It's code from 10 to 90, give your marks to your reading as well as listening. So it's important that you pronounce these things correctly and these are the rules of our pronunciation. So it will be iron bridge, iron bridge nahi hota hai and this is not going to be George, it's going to be Gorge, okay? And this is the world, okay? R yahan pe bhi silent hai, but R yahan pronounce hoga. Heritage, property. First R will be pronounced and second one will be silent. 
ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट अब आप शायद समझिए आपके रीडिंग में मार्क्स क्यों नहीं आते लिसनिंग में मार्क्स क्यों नहीं आते आपको लगता है कि आपने तो सही बोला बट अगर लेट से ये आपका रीड अलाउड है तो आपने फर्स्ट सिक्स वर्ड्स में ही द आयरन ब्रिज अब यहाँ पे द भी नहीं बुलाया जाएगा इट विल बी दी अगेन देर इज अ रूल ऑफ वॉल्स विच वी टीच इन डिटेल टू आर स्टूडेंट्स वेन वी टीच दम प्रोनाउंसिएशन बोथ टू ऑनलाइन एज वेल एज इंस्टीट्यूट स्टूडेंट्स बट आप देखिए इसमें आप सारे वर्ड्स पहले मिस्टेक करेंगे तो द करेक्ट प्रोनाउंसिएशन इज गोइंग टू बी the iron bridge gorge world heritage property this is how you have to speak okay covers an area kuch area bataya hua hai located batai hui hai north west of something the industrial revolution okay industrial revolution ki baat ho rahi hai had its 18th century something in the gorge and spread worldwide leading to some of most far reaching changes site kaun si site yahan pe site is reference word this site that iron bridge world heritage site okay 5 km okay and together with two small river valleys extend hoti hai then it provided the raw materials yahan tak aapka present tense hai and then now it's talking about its past so that's why past tense is used and offers a powerful something into origins of industrial revolution extensive evidence remains of the period from writers engineers the property contains mines factories workers public buildings together with traditional landscape and forest of seven gorge in addition there also remain some collections of artifacts okay and archives relating to individuals today site is living working community of 4000 people world renowned place to visit it is also some landscape that is interpreted and accessible through number of organizations there is a trust and then two trust names are mentioned okay and then it has grassland and associated historic structures okay so now we are talking about some heritage property site then we had told about the past uska present bhi baat ki hui hai mixed tenses use ho rahe hain one thing i want to talk about is this new word because to solve reading we have to improve our vocab also what are artifacts artifacts are the an object that is made by a person okay and then what are archives archives are a collection of historical documents or records ke collection ko hum archives kehte hain jo historical documents hote hain about institution or a group of people so okay now we have understood the basics humne tough words bhi dekh liye hain vocab bhi improve ho gayi hai so now let's start filling the blanks ab yahan pe always remember that grammar is very important to crack your reading you need to know the basics like parts of speech subject verb agreement kuch aise cheeze hain jo students in cheezon pe focus nahi karte hain they are not able to achieve their target score so let's see how parts of speech and subject verb agreement are going to help us in solving the blanks so industrial revolution had its 18th century something in the iron bridge gorge and one thing i want to mention is this we use process of elimination i say it's your best friend forever especially for pt reading in this we eliminate the wrong options jo hame wrong lagte hain or whatever we are left with will be our right answer so let's see how to solve this blank so ab yahan pe it's it's kaun sa pronoun hai kaun sa industrial revolution ab kya ye singular hai ya plural hai this is singular right revolution ki baat ho rahi hai it's something in the iron bridge gorge ab aapko pata hai jab singular hai to aap sath mein verb ke kya use karte ho s ya es ab yahan pe dekhiye reason ke sath reasons hota hai hota hai right reason s ke sath use hota hai reasons hota hai but kya yahan pe s hai nahi so we are going to eliminate it silk the same reason we are going to eliminate ab hamare paas s wale do words hain roots aur wishes ab forward reading again a concept which we teach to our students and spread worldwide ab ek simple si baat hai wo baat kar raha hai ki baad mein spread hua to pehle kya hoga pehle start hoga initiate hoga us cheez ka origin hoga tabhi to wo baad mein spread hoga to origin ka synonym kya hai hamare paas that is roots okay so that's why it's 18th century roots in the iron bridge gorge so this is how we are going to attempt this blank and we have selected the roots as our option 
Now let's move to the next one, the site of 5 km. Remember I had told about that till here we are going to use the present tense and then we are going to see the past tense. Thamara pehla blank bhi present tense ki form mein fill hua hai. Coming to our second blank now. The site something incorporates, assigns, gets or corporate. Again, ab humara yaha pe single word hai site. Toh kaise use hoki verb ki form with S or ES. Ab again we are going to use our process of elimination. So corporate, vese bhi corporate kya hota hai? Corporate means any company. So hum isko eliminate kar denge. Now we are left with three options. Incorporate, assigns or gets. What is incorporates? Right? Incorporates means when you make something a part of something else. Matlab include karna jab ek cheez ko dusre cheez ka part pa na lete hai. Now let's fill the blanks one by one. The site incorporates a 5 km length. Yes, makes sense. The site includes a 5 km length of steep sided mineral rich seven valley. Okay. Yes, it makes sense. Assigns. Assign kya hota jab aap kisi cheez ko assign karte ho. To kya assigns hoga answer? Contextually nahi hoga. Gets hoga. The site gets the 5. Kya usko milti hai site ko? No. Site me kya kya included hai? Hum is tarah se baat kar rahe hai. A 5 km length of Mineral rich seven valley hai. That is what we are going to select now. So the second blank is the site incorporates. Ab, now we are talking about the past. Kiusne raw materials provide kiye the and offers a powerful something into the or regions of industrial revolution. Ab powerful what? Okay. Yahan pe powerful kya hai hamara adjective parts of speech. And yahan pe hamara kya use hoga? Noun use hoga. Adjective se pehle kya aata hai? Noun. Why I am talking about this thing? Because you have to understand that vision kya hai hamara noun hai. Insight kya hai hamara noun hai. Strike kya hai jab hum kehte hain aapne kisi cheez ko strike kiya, right? Aap ek action kar rahe ho. So that is your action means it's a verb, okay? And now we are left with work or work be what is it's used as a noun or verb but generally hum kya kehte hain as a verb okay so we are going to eliminate work and strike which are verbs using our process of elimination now we are left with two blanks vision ya insight a vision kya hoti hai future ki baat hoti hai right aap future se correlate karte ho vision ko my vision about my future, right? My vision about the company. Matlab aap apni future ki soch batate ho. So we cannot use vision over here. So we are just left with one blank which is insight. And insight vese bhi contextually fit hota hai. Insight ka matlab kya hota hai? A deep understanding of what something or somebody is like. Matlab uske baare mein bohat yada pata hona. Kisi cheez ke baare mein bohat yada pata hona. So because and that fits contextually also that Iron Pitch Gorge provided raw materials and offers a powerful understanding or deep understanding into the origins of industrial revolution. Industrial revolution kaise start hua. And moving on to the next blank, you know that we do not read all this. This is just a distraction or time consuming thing. We are going to simply read from here through three, four words before the blank and three, four words after the blank okay so in addition there also remain something collections of again collections kya hai noun or plural hai noun se pehle kya aega aapka adjective but isme to almost sare hi adjective hai ex except example aapka example kya hai noun theek hai right so we are going to eliminate example now we are left with three options Extensive, expensive or external. Ab, in addition hai, matlab already wo cheese build ho rahi ho ki. If you go through your backward reading, yaha pe hum baat kar rahe hai extensive evidence ki, right? Yaha pe hum word use kar rahe hai extensive evidence. Ab evidence kya hai? Kaun sa evidence hai humare paas? Ye collections of artifacts and archives. Ye bhi to aapka evidence hi hai ki aapke paas purani collection hai jo Humans ne cheese hai form ki hai ya historical documents hai. So that's why we are going to select extensive. And what does extensive means? Extensive means of great extent. Ki matlab bohat yada collections hai aapke paas. Okay. 
एक्सपेंसिव तो वैसे यूज नहीं होगा आउट ऑफ कंटेक्सट है क्या हम कुछ महंगे की बात कर रहे हैं एक्सटर्नल भी डजेंट फिट्स इन द कंटेक्सट वी आर जस्ट लेफ्ट विद वन ब्लैंक विच इज एक्सटेंसिव कलेक्शन ऑफ आर्ट इफेक्ट ओके तो वी आर गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट दिस अब नाउ लेट सी the last blank you know that we are going to read three four words over here it is also means aap historical site wo heritage property ki already baat kar rahe ho aapko pata hai aap yahan pe heritage site ki baat kar rahe ho so it is also a backward landscape a landscape again kya hai aapka ek noun to kya use hoga aapke adjectives okay aapko yahan pe kya use karne hain adjectives so now if you know parts of speech basics and that's why i'm saying that it's very important that you should know parts of speech and we have a detailed course of our grammar where we teach all these stuff so yahan pe ab aapka backward kya hai adjective right jaise hum backward thing backward thoughts backward thinking baat karte hain collect kya hai aapka yahan pe collect kya hai jab aap kuch collect karte ho to kya kar rahe ho action right agar action hai to collect kya hota hai verb generally to isliye we are going to eliminate collect as well as step now we are just left with two adjectives historical bhi adjective hai aur backward bhi adjective hai ab yahan pe backward pichha hua ya purani baat kar rahe hain hum the answer is no hum backward thinking matlab choti soch pur pichhdi hui soch ki baat karte hain we are just left with one option which fits contextual also it is also a historical landscape right kyunki hum हिस्ट्री की बात कर रहे हैं हर जगह पे हेरिटेज प्रॉपर्टी की बात हो रही है तो दैट्स व्हाई कंटेक्सचुअली आपका हिस्टोरिकल सबसे बेटर फिट होता है और बेस्ट फिट है एंड वी हैव सिलेक्टेड हिस्टोरिकल आल्सो एंड ऑल दीज आंसर्स आर करेक्ट सो यू सी इफ यू फॉलो आर स्ट्रेटजीज यू विल बी एबल टू क्रैक यूर रीडिंग सॉल्व यूर रीडिंग एंड राइटिंग फिलिंग द प्लैंक्स सो आर स्ट्रैटेजीज आर डिवाइडेड ऑन कंटेक्स lexical resource and grammar in context first we do skimming then forward reading and backward reading today you had seen the importance of backward reading kaise humne extensive wala blank solve kiya correctly and tone is also important lexical resource mein collocations phrasal verbs and vocab all this are built up with time and grammar we have a complete grammar course where we teach parts of speech you had seen how we use process of eliminations today using parts of speech kaun se adjectives hain kaun se nouns hain kaun se verbs hain this you can only understand if you know the basics correctly and then subject verb agreement our first two blanks we solved it purely on the basis of subject verb agreement सिंगुलर है तो ऐसे या ई एस यूज होगा देन प्रपोजिशन लेक्चर्स वी हैव मॉडल्स आर्टिकल्स डिटर्मिनर्स साइन पोस्टिंग वर्ड्स टेंसेस इरेगुलर वर्ब्स और प्लूरल्स एंड ब्रिटिश इंग्लिश रूल्स अलॉन्ग विद सेंटेंस फॉर्मेशन सो दिस इज अ कंप्लीट ग्रामर कोर्स विच वी टीच आर स्टूडेंट्स इट हेल्प्स देम टू इम्प्रूव देयर रीडिंग इम्प्रूव देयर लिसनिंग राइटिंग एज वेल एज स्पीकिंग बिकॉज ग्रामर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्पेशली इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर सेवेंटी नाइन प्लस कोर्स and always remember you have to end a half to 3 minutes in first 30 to 60 seconds you are going to skim the content and in next 90 to 120 seconds you are going to look for clues you have to find pointers and use process of elimination always remember process of elimination is your best friend forever and all the strategies which we teach are validated and proven strategies the proof is in the ticker below where you can see that a lot of students have achieved their targets goals and these are some of our recent success stories where students have scored 90 overall also so if they can you can also if you have any questions or doubts or want to take in institute or online coaching you can whatsapp us at 8699121121 and do not forget to subscribe to our channel because we post such informative videos on a regular basis we give wings to your dream